Alright, so it took me a while to get this started, but um, if you guys are wondering how to set up the RTX uh, features in Unreal Engine 4, um, I'm going to walk through that process now. Um, that way you can see that it is working. It's a mirror that you're looking at. Uh, it's pretty simple, it just took a while to set up. And finally, I think just today, NVIDIA came out, or Unreal came out with um, step-by-step -step process on how to do it. Um, and I finally got it running. First thing you want to do is make sure that your Windows version is uh, correct. And you have to have the version 18.09 updated, uh, nothing older. If you have anything older than that, it will not work. I've already tested it. It took me about a week to figure out that I had the wrong uh, Windows version. So just make sure you don't use that. Uh, but you need 1809 to get this started. Um, once you get that started, let me see. before you open the um, engine, just set up, uh, head over to your Epic Games Launcher under your library. Make sure you install uh, Unreal Engine 422. If you don't have that already, just hit here and then you pick the version. Um, but once you have it there, uh, create a shortcut. I've already done that, um, but it'll be here. Once you create a shortcut from here, go to the properties and under the target, just make sure you change it to DirectX 12 at the end. So uh, after the um, quotation marks, just do space dash DX12. And what that does is that launches the engine in DirectX 12. If you don't do that, it won't work. Launch it from the uh, shortcut. Uh, once you're in here, you gotta go to Edit, Project Settings, go all the way down to Rendering, scroll all the way down to where you see um, support. Uh, here, Support uh, Compute Skin Cache. It's under the optimization tab. Support compute skin cache. Hit that first, then scroll down to uh, ray trace and hit that. If you come down here and you see the ray trace is grayed out, it's because you haven't enabled the support compute skin cache. This has to be put. Cool. And once you enable that, um, as long as you set up the DirectX 12 and everything, it should launch right to it. It'll ask you to reset a few times, uh, once for the skin cache, once for the um, the ray tracing capabilities, and then once you're done, you can just go to your maps and, yep, there you go. So yeah, that was the issue. Uh, just make sure you run it from your uh, desktop and run from the DirectX 12 version. If not, it won't. If you launch it from the Epic Games Launcher, it won't work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you can see the frame rate up here uh, in, the, in the display, it's running pretty smooth. Uh, once I'm out and about, there's not really any frame rate issues. For some reason, once you get really close to it, some of the frames get really weird. Um, if you stand here, I'm just going to stare for a little bit. It'll act kind of funky. 